Greetings, my name is Leland Stein and I want to welcome you to another Conversations from the Stage here at the historic Regent Theater in Arlington, Massachusetts. And today I've got with me a very special guest, a, a longtime friend of the Regent Theater and someone who's brought so many great shows to our stage, Mr. Leon Beal. Welcome, Leon. Always a pleasure, always. Um, Leon, it's uh, so good to be sitting with you again here. And uh, I think uh, sometime pre-COVID, <laughs> we did another interview up at the uh, Arlington Community Media Studios, I was remember. And I just was reflecting on how nice it's been to have you for so many years here and uh, keep coming back. Your support of the theater and uh, what we do here is, uh, means, means so much to us. But without getting, uh, but let's get to the point and go right to the next show. Okay. Because you're uh, bringing a show to us as is a, one of your new customs. You do several throughout the year, but on Thanksgiving weekend, Friday, uh, that's the 24th at 8 p.m. Yes. The day after Thanksgiving, everyone has enough time to recover, hopefully, and yeah. uh, come to a great show. And it's called Thank You for the Melodies. Yes. And why don't you tell us a little about that? Well, we've made that an annual event now. Uh, there's so many great melodies that we've all heard over the years. Like that music is the soundtrack of our lives and there's just so many great melodies. So we try to make sure that we honor the music that brought us through so many hard times, good times and party times. And uh, we, we, have, we generally have a really good time. As you know, I've um, been coming here now for what, five, six years. You've basically allowed me to make the Regent my home for productions. And uh, I'm very grateful for that. We do the Motown tribute. We do the Aretha tribute. We've done a Divas. We continue to do different shows because the audience has been very receptive. Uh, Thanksgiving is just going to be another one of those great shows. And also in December, yeah. uh, Tony Lynn Washington, who is local queen of the blues, I can't speak to anyone who does not have a lot of respect for Tony. You and I sat down and we talked about it and we figured it was time to do a tribute to her yes. for all that she's done. So December 8th. Yeah, that's we, gonna we Friday did. night and yes, uh, sir. kind of kicking off uh, in a different way the holiday season from the Thanksgiving show. And Tony Lynn is just so beloved by so many people. Hey. And she is still out there performing at 80. I don't know. I don't know if she even wants to, her <laughs> age to be known. But she is. She yes. is uh, uh, youthful and exuberant. And she is an inspiration. It's inspiration. It's a high, It's a high time that we did something on our stage, and there'll be a lot of different performers. Yes. And I'm sure Tony will get up as well. But uh, it's just a great opportunity to to pay tribute to someone who's. Who's, who's done so much in the world of blues and R&B for Boston. Yes. She is the queen. Just getting back a little to the thankful for the melodies, <laughs> what would be some of some examples of some of the songs that, oh, that gee, you got, you're going to do this to me. <laughs> uh, Doris Troy, Just One Look, um, Not Unusual, Tom Jones. Um, and we're gonna do some emotions, I think, um, flowers. Um, um, we're gonna do, uh, yeah. listen, there's just too much music. Well, you know, that's, as you start to, to mention the songs, you mean, and yeah, there's like, it's like, where do you begin? Yeah, But right. it's also for the audience, and, and I consider myself one of the audience members <laughs> and a fan, it's like, it's the kind of show where you go and you go, I remember that song. Exactly. And I haven't heard it in so long. Like, Ex who did that song? And, and some will be more familiar than others, but it's part of the enjoyment of that kind of it, a review. It, it is definitely, for me, gratifying. I did. I pulled a song that was a Temptation song. Yeah. Nobody remembered the song, but until they started listening to the lyrics, yeah. people stopped me after the show. It's like, where did you find that song? Yeah. I listened, I lived through it, you know what I'm saying? And being able to present it so that other folks remember it, you know what I'm saying? The message is the most important. 
the message and the memories because we all have memories. Every song ah. that comes, we've got some memories that go with that song. That's you know right. What I'm and, and that's and it, that's what counts. Music brings out the emotion. Yes, and it does. the musical memory kind of lives on after a lot of other things start to fail. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Because but, when you hear a song, you will automatically your mind automatically goes back to a certain time and place, you know what I'm saying? Or an emotion, whatever the case may yeah. be. Now you put together your band is consistently top notch a a plus players I'm, I'm maybe i know you it's hard to in a short time to kind of mention everybody but tell tell us a little bit about some of the, the musicians and singers you've worked with over the years that'll be coming back to our stage well, not only in november but in the next year <laughs> the crew the crew for me is my three female vocalists my three main female vocalists are the Thean wilson angelina hightower and darlene Wynn. I add to them Nichelle Mungo, Kit Holliday, Lydia Harrell, uh, Sarah Siminski. Those are the females. Now, when we get to the males, it, it, it depends upon who's. Jeff Thomas, I bring out of Providence. Jeremy Hardy and um, Rodney Mills, I'm going to be bringing in, in in January to do yep. a show with okay, me. Great. You know, I'm reaching out to a lot of the folks that I've had the fortune, the good fortune of working with, you know, I tell people, I don't have to be your best friend, but if I respect your talent, I'm going to try to find a way to include it in something that I do. Like in January, there's a young lady by the name of Valerie Stevens. She does an amazing mm. Nina Simone. Oh, okay? wonderful. So I'm going to do some, bring in some Nina Simone material because nobody's doing Nina. And, okay. and, and absolutely, that'll be something to, to oh, check yeah. out for sure. Yeah. And that's Martin Luther King weekend, which yes. is another one of the traditional times that uh, Leon brings a show to our stage. And uh, so look out for that in 2024. But in the meantime, we've got thankful for the melodies. And we're looking forward to that. Everybody's yeah. all excited about it. I have a group that I put together we call the collaborators. Yeah. Clyde Cross, Andrew Storm, Gilbert White, and David Fuller. And we do. We started doing a lot of the Temptations, a lot of the old group stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like the, oh. the Blue Notes and, you know, because nobody was doing it. You know, so we we got together and now that I'm doing the shows, they don't they want to be part of everything. So now that's my male crew. Oh, that's great. Well, so, yeah, you know, that's Thanksgiving is a time when families come together, friends come together and people are looking for something to do. And it's a great family show. I mean, who who? Who doesn't like that music that exactly. you put in? Exactly. And, and I try to cater to what I consider an underserved audience. Yeah. We had the greatest music ever, okay? Yeah. And nobody's actually catering to what or doing that that we do. Yeah. You know, you go to a club, you hear the same 30 songs, different bands, same songs. Well, there's just too much music. There you know? is. And yeah. I want to thank you for keeping it alive, doing your part, bringing it to our stage these great shows, several a year, and also bringing communities together and people from all walks of life, from different parts of town. And everybody comes here and has a great time. And that's that's what it's about. That's gratifying. That's what brings us joy in presenting yes. a show. You perform in a show. And uh, we look forward to hosting you again and have people come out and enjoy. They're thankful for the melodies here at the Regent Theater on uh, Friday, the 24th of November, Thanksgiving weekend, Leon. And I'm thankful for the region. Yeah. And the audience is always great. As you say, when I look out in that audience, it lifts my heart, so. I'm well, we appreciate you and uh, again, what you bring to our stage and uh, on our town. And uh, we look forward to doing it again. And thank you for being here today and having this little conversation, a little always preview. Always a pleasure. And you folks, don't miss out because these are great shows and we'll see you November 24th, December 8th for the Tony Lynn Washington tribute and look out for 2024 as Leon brings a lot of, a lot of more great shows right here to the state.